What's up, guys? Papa Rossi talking ball cards. Filming from a camping table here. Um, <laughs> I'm not camping. I uh, moved into a new place, um, and it's been a while. Uh, so, got a PSA DNA order back today. So I'm gonna recap that, and then uh, you know, first and foremost, guys, thank you so much. Um, I have went over a thousand subscribers, so I can't believe that. I uh, couldn't have done it without you guys, obviously. So. Uh, I'm going to keep the videos coming. Uh, I have a, a fun video that I'm still working on. Not sure when I'm going to get it out, but anyways, um, hope you guys like this PSA return. It's been a while since I've done one. Um, these are all, uh, well, these are all autographed cards. Uh, some of them I obtained through uh, uh, TTM, so through the mail autographs. Some of them I purchased. Um, and, you know, in general, I would say that PSA has taken a pretty... Uh, timid stance on some of these. Uh, I mean, you guys are going to get a laugh out of some of these returns. Um, there were a lot that got kicked back. Uh, anyways, let me know if you think that uh, <clears throat> PSA is out of their mind on some of the returns. I'll uh, share my rationale on some of the cards, give some history. Anyways, we'll jump into it. So we'll go with the bad news first. Now, man, I don't know what it is. I have not had good luck with, with Willie Mays. Uh, this is a $2 bill that my... Uh, that my grandma had signed by Willie Mays. And, you know, I I don't know. My grandma might have been confused. <laughs> um, this this autograph, only I was able to find a known example that did look like this. Um, but I just don't think it was Willie Mays. Anyways, uh, <laughs> let me know what you guys think. It has like these huge swooping, a huge swooping W and then a huge swooping M. And I looked at some of the PSA exemplars and... There is one that looked like this, I think from like 1954, which I actually think is when my grandma had this signed. Um, the bill is dated 53, and my grandma said she had this signed at the bank by Willie Mays. Um, that was then given to my uncle, and then that made its way to me. Anyways, uh, okay, so that was rejected. Uh, this, Ken, Ken Singleton, um, the autograph got a little... A little smudged uh, on the return in the mail. Um, it's an authentic autograph. N4 means questionable authenticity. Authenticity on the autograph. They're just, I don't know, PSA is just scared. <laughs> I think there's some other Ken Singleton cards that were signed by him in here. Um, this one, this autograph just got scuffed up because it was stacked in the envelope against something else. And anyways, um, okay, uh, let's get into this. So this was a TTM um, I got from uh, Don right before he passed. Um, so they're saying this is questionable authenticity, but there's another card in this order from the same TTM envelope that is deemed authentic. And to me, it looks right. You guys let me know. Um, I just think PSA is pretty chicken shit for the most part. Um, as my buddy Lenny uh, from Cardcast says... If it's not dead nuts, it won't get certified by PSA. <laughs> so by dead nuts, he means spot on, dead on. Um, and I guess this may have something going on with it. You guys tell me. Not sure what I'm going to do with that. Um, okay, so getting into these cards. This is really unfortunate. So I bought a bunch of these. Um, they're these baseball's greatest um, cards. And I bought them all from the same seller, all um, all on eBay, same seller, and they were all listed back to back to back. And I reached out to the guy before I bought any of them. And he went to some, he went to like some fantasy camp or something like that. And he did this years and years and years ago. I don't, I don't know when he did that. Let's see, because it can't be older than the actual cards. So these are 82. Um, so anyways, he, uh, he said he got them all signed at the same time, and I believe him. I mean, there are, uh, as you'll see, there are a bunch in here um, and a bunch of them that did get certified. So had all these old timers there um, all at once, and he said this, and PSA said that this is not authentic. Um, I think it is. I definitely think it is. It'll probably go to Beckett um, because, yeah, it's a real autograph, but... PSA is a little scared. Richie, again, signed at the same event. Hit this in ballpoint. 
if you guys do think that PSA, um, you know, was was right, let me know. Um, yeah, I was just surprised. All from the same event, so you think they'd be good. Uh, Jim Bunning, I mean, I, I was really surprised to see this. I mean, Jim was signing through the mail for years and years and years, so I'm just shocked to see them kick something back, but I do think these were signed back in the 80s or early 90s. I can't remember. I bought these a long time ago off eBay. Anyways, um, okay, so that's all the bad news, and that was a shitload of bad news, but uh, getting into some good news, I did have this Duke Snyder index card sitting around that I think I, <laughs> I think I got 10 years ago on eBay for like $2 um, to, spice, to spice up the index card. I don't know. I did something kind of stupid. I just printed a black and white picture of him and put it on the back. I taped it on there, kind of just like a homer, <laughs> but I just, you know, I thought it just it would look a little better than just the index card, anyways. Uh, okay, cool. This is a TTM success. Juan Marichal on his sixty-nine tops. Got another Juan here. Another sixty-nine Giants Heroes card with uh, Mr. McCovey as well. This was another TTM, Bert, on his 69. Pretty nice card, too. What do we got next here? Oh, this one's kind of cool. Steve Garvey on his 75. Uh, this was a TTM as well. Autograph's a little streaky. It's pretty cool autograph, though. So, if you guys are interested in any of these, let me know. I'm probably going to be selling a handful of them. Here's Gidry on his 86. 86 All-Star card. At least I think that's his 86. Yeah. This is another TNM. Uh, not TNM, sorry. TTM. Uh, let's see. Tartable on his uh, 62 Star Rookie. TTM as well. God, most of these are TTM, I guess. Dusty Baker, TTM. And if you guys are interested in any TTM addresses, go to, uh, geez, what is it? Sportscollector.com. I'll put the link in the, I'll put the link in the description. So take a look there. If you're interested, make a free account and then you can, you can email these guys or sorry, you can snail mail these guys. Got a Trammel, also TTM, on his 87. Uh, this one I bought off of an off eBay for just a few bucks. Autograph went off of the Allen and Ginter there. Still pretty nice. Monty Irvin, Hall of Fame. Oh, this is a fun one. I, I did purchase this. Um, I purchased it uncertified, so this one was kind of a... I was happy to see this one make it through. Everything looked right. Um, I think I got it for like 40 bucks, so I think that's a pretty good deal for Mr. October there. Um, here's a football one. I uh, sent this to Alexander Madison uh, during Vikings training camp, and he signed and returned that for me. Thank you. That's his uh, rookie card there. Uh, Brooks. So... Another TTM, he threw the Hall of Fame inscription on there for me for free. Um, he was signing through his home, uh, through the mail. I don't know if he still is, though, so not sure on that. On his 64 tops. Okay. Let's see here. Uh, here's another one. So these are really cool. I'm going to sell a few of these. Um, I think I have another one in here too. Uh, looks like it's coming up next. 74 tops. And all these, I mean, these cards are authentic too. I, I dislike how they say trading card up here. Um, one thing that kind of annoys me is that, you know, they won't state, you know, what year and what issue the card is, but they will state, the, you know, they'll say that it's a trading card. However, if you use... A uh, let's say I sent him 
sent Brooks a nice reprint 57 tops, um, so his rookie year, and he signed it. They would put reprint trading card up here. At least I'm pretty sure, and I've seen that a few times. Um, so to me, that's a little sketchy. Um, and so I think by deduction, when it says trading card, you can make the assumption that it's an authentic card. Someone correct me on that if I'm off. Anyways, and, and I mean when it's a playing days card. So thank you, Brooks, for all of those. Okay, so getting back into some of these baseball's greatest. Uh, this, again, this was signed at the same event. So Stan the Man. Nice auto there. Bold, strong, blue Sharpie. Cepeda. Um, yeah, I think this was in uh, Ballpoint. Orlando Cepeda. On another one of those baseball's greatest. Killebrew. That's cool. I like Killebrew. I like collecting him. Um, yeah. Let's see. Ralph Kiner. Nice ballpoint signature there as well. I think these uh, these baseball greatest cards from TCMA, they, I think they present pretty well. Book Powell. Another nice one here. Yeah, I got all these pretty reasonably priced, and they all looked right to me. So not sure why PSA kicked several of them back, especially disappointed in the, the Barra. Billy Williams. Nice one there as well. Got a few more football here. So <laughs> I cracked a case of this SB Authentic, and I didn't get much out of there, so I wanted to try and stretch the box a little bit. So sent this off to Jake. So this was a TTM success. Thank you. Okay. Here's another one from that same break. Um, Mark Brunel. Brunel. So he has a foundation that he signs through, so an authentic autograph there. Another football here, Dick LeBeau. LeBeau? LeBeau? I think it's LeBeau. It's hard sometimes, you know, when I didn't get to watch these guys. Didn't get to watch a lot of these guys, so... Nicely signed there. That is, an, again, another TTM success. Here's a couple of cool ones. Dorset. Man, I just thought this was cool. If you guys saw on my channel, I broke a case. Or not a case. I broke a box of 85 tops. And this was one of them. And Tony Dorset signs through the mail. And man, is that nice. Just really expanded on his signature there quite a bit. Um... Just looks awesome. Busting through the defense. Mr. Dorsett, great TTM guy. Here's another one from him. On an 89 score. Sweet. Another really nice auto from him. He does a great job. Um, I got Fouts through the mail on a 78 tops here. I think he still signs through the mail. He's pretty slow, though. Um, obviously pretty popular. Uh, okay, Dickerson. Oh, sorry about that. Dickerson here on his 86 tops. Pretty nice. Dickerson signs one card at a time through the mail. So if you send him two, he will not sign the second one. He will keep it. <laughs> Just uh, anyways, word of caution or word of advice there. Jose. Jose and Eric Plunk. Off one of his Fleer rookies here. I signed this through the mail through his agent. Here's another one on his 87 tops. A little streaky there. Definitely wasn't a new pen when he signed, but it's TTM, so what can you do? Um, this 86 Don Russ, this was, uh, I think this was given to me by Lenny. So Lenny, thanks for, thanks for this. It made it through authentication. No surprise. Um, I, I didn't have a doubt, uh, but this is a nice card that was given to be, given to me by Lenny. Uh, check out Cardcast. They deserve many more subscribers. Uh, Bobby Morgan. 
Got him here on his 55 Bowman. So that's another uh, through the mail success there. Frank Duffy, also another through the mail success. Nice one here. On his 72, what's his rookie year? 70? Not 100% sure there. Jim Cott, uh, another great through the mail signer. Last I checked, if you if you uh, get a few autographs from him, I think they're at five or ten dollars a pop. He donates them to youth baseball, um, so a certainly a good cause. Got a Bob Feller here. Um, I purchased this from a trusted eBay source on his Diamond Kings or well Hall of Fame Heroes card there from Don Russ. Tony Oliva, okay, so I got him through the mail as well. I, I wrote these cards off. I thought they were long gone. And I, so this TTM, I think, took close to one year. So it'll be a long haul. He only signed one of my cards. He returned the others unsigned. Boggs. So got Boggs here through the mail. Um, he's been $5 a card forever. Don't know if that's still the same deal. Um, haven't. I haven't done a lot of TTM recently. From that same TTM here, got him on one of his tops issues. Box, nice autograph there, thank you. Another one here, signed right through his face. That's fine. 89 tops. Box, authentic auto. Ryan Sandberg here. This is a nice one on a 89 tops all-star card there. Thank you, Mr. Sandberg. And then uh, Carl Erskine. So Erskine is, I mean, this guy is a TTM legend. So I'm happy to get him. And an authentic auto there on a fi his 57 tops. And that's it, guys. Um, like I said, I'm working on another video uh, that's going to be a fun one about PSA. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed these mostly TTM autograph authentications. Uh, anyways, uh, until next time, Paparazzi talking ball cards out of here. Thank you.